Hey, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Retro Gaming Rewind. So today what I want to talk about is getting the absolute best picture quality out of your Sega Dreamcast. You know, the Sega Dreamcast is just a fantastic system with great games, so it deserves to really get the best picture quality out of it. Um, so if you were an original Sega Dreamcast owner like myself, what came in the box originally was just sort of the standard RCA uh, composite cables, and that was, you know, that's the yellow, white, and red. Um, after a year or something like that, I eventually upgraded to S-Video, and that was a huge improvement in picture quality, and at the time, um, that was pretty much as good as you could get on a standard television. Now, what the Dreamcast also did, which was a big deal at the time, was to output VGA. And what that was is that was a 640 by 480 progressive scan image, and you could hook up your Dreamcast directly to a computer monitor, and the image quality was just, it was heads and tails better than anything you, that you could get on uh, on your TVs back in the day. Um, and, you know, just a reminder for all you new kids, that was a CRT TV. So this was never hooked up to an HD television. So the Dreamcast was really the first system to output a progressive scan image. And uh, we're going to see uh, how that looks here in a bit. But what we also want to do now is to hook it up these days to a, an HD TV or to, you know, like a capture card or something. You know, a lot of capture cards don't. Uh, accept VGA signals directly, so we have to convert it somehow, um, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So what uh, I was originally going to do in this video was compare two different inexpensive products. Um, however, one of them turned out to be a complete piece of garbage, didn't do as uh, it advertised, um, so I'm just completely leaving that out of the video, and we're just going to focus on this one adapter here. And this is a pretty inexpensive uh, adapter, VGA to HDMI converter slash scaler from eTech City. I got this, uh, it was either 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon, uh, came on Amazon Prime, so it was here in like two days, which was great. And the reason why I wanted to make this video, obviously I wanted to share, you know, really good picture quality, but, um, you know, when I was looking at other videos that people had made with, um, you know, converters that the Dreamcast could use, they were outdated, so the product wasn't available anymore. Either that or the product was just really expensive. So I wanted to find a relatively inexpensive solution and share it with you guys uh, just because I didn't find any other videos out there that had like, you know, anything in this price range that would work with the Dreamcast and the Elgato and my HDTV and all that sort of thing. So I figured I can't be the only one in this predicament. So I figured let's make a video about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this video converter. Uh, first, I want to show you guys what comes in the box when you actually buy it. And again, I'll put the uh, the link to the, the, the product down in the description. Uh, so we're going to check out what's in the box, and then we're actually going to check out some act uh, some gameplay footage comparing uh, some Dreamcast games in composite, S-Video, as well as VGA, so you guys can form your own opinion. So let's go see what came in the box, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So let's take a look at everything that comes in the package here. Obviously, we've got the cardboard box here. Uh, nothing too crazy special, you know, VGA to a converter label there. Uh, I've got an instruction manual, standard power supply here. Um, and then we've got the actual adapter itself right here. Um, pretty solid built unit. Um, as you can see here, you've got the VGA in and then the, uh, the headphone jack for audio in. So you need sort of a stereo adapter if you want to use that there. And on the other side here, uh, I've obviously got the HDMI out. And then there's the power cable. And then over here, the switch between 720 and 1080p. Uh, and then these like little LED lights uh, flip on when the unit is actually powered on. All right, so now I want to show you guys how I have this thing hooked up with the Dreamcast. All right, so what I wanted to do now is show you guys exactly how I have the Dreamcast hooked up. Uh, this white cable is the VGA cable. Uh, it's the Tomy brand. So as you can see here, you have the VGA cable split out separately from the stereo channels. Um, and then that leads directly into the converter box. And then the converter box, as you can see, leads out to HDMI. And I have the HDMI plugged directly into my Elgato HD capture card. And as you can see, what I did with the stereo channels is I bypassed the adapter and put them directly into the Elgato HD capture because I wanted to test to see what kind of lag um, this adapter was bringing to the table. So I believe this Tomy VGA cable is relatively new. Uh, you know, it's not like brand new to the market, but um, it's obviously not one of those standard VGA boxes. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of what you usually see when it comes to VGA boxes for the Dreamcast. So while I did not use the RetroBit VGA box here to capture VGA footage, I did use it to capture the S-Video footage that we'll check out here in a minute. All right, so this here is my gameplay monitor, and then this over here is the computer monitor. Um, that's where I do most of my 
you know, editing and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so this color bar here, that is the output signal by default from the adapter. So we know it's working, that's a good sign. Funny thing about this adapter, it would not work over 1080p. They have a switch to do 720 or 1080, and for some reason the VGA would not work over 1080. So let's turn this thing on and see what kind of signal that we finally get from the Dreamcast. All right, so there you go, 1280 by 720, and it works. So let's go check out some game footage now. All right, so here are our three guinea pig games here. Let's check out what they look like in composite, S-Video, and finally VGA. So the first game I wanted to check out here was Street Fighter Alpha 3 because I thought this game might be a good judge uh, to see if there was any kind of lag in the gameplay. Um, but as you can see here, the, the image quality is, you know, there is a pretty big difference. Obviously, the title screen, you're not gonna see a massive difference here. Um, but this is where I really started to see a big difference. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So you see the switch there from composite to S-Video. The S-Video is much sharper. The colors are, you know, they just have more pop to them. And then here we move over to VGA. And the VGA here, obviously, it's pretty comparable to the S-Video. However, you can see every little detail. Um, you know, you can see all the little jaggies. So, you know, I could see how some people might actually prefer to stick with S-Video or something like that, um, but I don't know. For me personally, I just, I'm gonna go with the VGA just because it has such a clean image. Um, yeah, the gameplay here in the composite, you can see it's just, I don't know, just kind of a muddy image. The colors just sort of blend into each other. And then it's much better here with S-Video, especially on this board. This board is very colorful. Um, it's just a fantastic looking board. I've always loved this one. And then moving back here to VGA, not as colorful of a board, but you can just see all the detail here. And then you just switch back to composite and you go back to this kind of muddy image. And what I'm really noticing too with the VGA is that there really isn't much significant lag. You know, I figured there has to be some sort of lag there uh, just because the video is being converted and upscaled. But honestly, it's not noticeable. Like, I don't know, maybe if I ran this thing through a computer that measured lag, it would tell me tell me something. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the lag was almost completely unnoticeable playing Street Fighter. So now we move on to one of my favorite games here on the Dreamcast of all time, and it is Virtua Tennis. I remember when this game first came out in arcades, um, you know, Mark and I used to play it all the time. We used to go to Dave & Buster's out in Pittsburgh, get some beers, wings, and just play Virtua Tennis and like Time Crisis for hours and hours and hours. But yeah, I thought this would be another really good test here because obviously, um, you know, Street Fighter was 2D, but now we're moving into 3D with Polygon. And really, this is really where, you know, you're going to see a big difference. I think you've probably seen it already. Um, you know, switching between composite and S-Video is a pretty big difference. But then when you switch over to VGA, um, just everything just looks so much better, especially in 3D. The colors are brighter. Um, just everything about it, the image quality just has much more fidelity. And the other nice thing, again, not much lag. So this is another game where, you know, lag is kind of important and it really did not play much of a factor at all in gameplay. Game. All right, so now we're gonna move into one of my all-time favorite games on the Dreamcast, probably second only to Shenmue, and that's Skies of Arcadia. This is also one of my absolute favorite JRPGs. Okay, so now as you can see here, the composite image, it is serviceable just like every other composite image. Uh, then you switch over to S-Video, colors are a little bit different, um, there's a little bit more fidelity. Uh, I feel like colors have a little bit more pop, but then you move over to VGA, and there's just really no comparison. The VGA signal, um, it just has a whole lot more sharpness to it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's progressive scan, so you're just going to have a you know, much higher image quality there naturally. Now you move over to scenes like this, um, you know, where you see the characters, very muddy image through composite. Much better image here through S-Video, you know, just a huge improvement. And then we're going to switch over here to VGA in a second, you'll see a big difference. Just a huge difference in quality there. Um, you know, I think, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to switch back to anything else with my Dreamcast after messing with this uh, little device here. It's uh, just fantastic. And obviously here, um, you know, with JRPGs, you don't have to worry about lag at all because this is a turn-based game here. 
Um, now I wanted to capture a couple different sequences here so you get to see the battle sequence. So I'm just going to kind of kick back, let you guys enjoy the gameplay footage. So yeah, I mean, the composite, just not a very super clear image. s video is a little different, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys are really seeing the difference that I'm seeing. I just think the VGA is just an absolutely superior uh, video signal in pretty much every way. So I don't think it really takes rocket science to figure out that the VGA is definitely the way to go um, using your Dreamcast on an HDTV. Obviously, if you have a CRT TV, you can't really use this um, unless it takes an HDMI, but I don't know why you would do that. Um, but if you want to hook this up to your Elgato or any other capture card or another HDTV, this thing works awesome. So I highly recommend it. It's totally inexpensive, not much lag. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just a great product. Um, I'm very glad that I picked it up. And I'm going to return that other one. It was a piece of crap. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to put this link down in the description so you guys can go buy it for yourselves and check it out. Um, and until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon.